In this video, Lior, who's one of our solution architects, is demoing our supply chain application, which we call Track and Trace. The Track and Trace application has four types of user roles that correspond to a generic supply chain, manufacturers, distributors, retailers, and regulators. In this application, a few generic supply chain events are built in. First, manufacturers can create assets and request bids for their purchase. Distributors can then bid on these assets with their bids only visible to the manufacturer that made them. Manufacturers can then accept a bid and launch a smart contract to track the fulfillment of the order to the distributor. Later in the supply chain, distributors can then repeat the process for selling to retailers. All the while, regulators have visibility into all the bids and transactions across the network in real time. This application, by the way, is free to use with Strato and is available through the link on your screen. In this demo, Lior takes us through the first steps of asset tracking in the Track and Trace application, creating an order as a manufacturer, bidding on it as a distributor, and then accepting the bid again as a manufacturer. Finally, he shows the regulator's view of the entire process. This video is from a demo with a real Strato customer and has the audio redacted to protect their privacy. Enjoy. It kind of can get you a sense of how simple it is to use our product and build blockchain-based solutions on that, on our product. So I am running um, our demo on a uh, remote node. Right, this is loaded um, in the cloud right now. The blockchain is running in the cloud. I can obviously run it um, on-prem, on my machine here, or on-prem, wherever. It really depends on what the customer is, who the customer is, what the application is, uh, what are the regulations, right, that um, you need to comply with. What's the compliance level? Uh, but we run in, on all clouds. <clears throat> on-prem um, or in the cloud. So um, you can basically tailor it to any kind of compliance that you need. Um, the application, this application is a front end. It's a pretty simple front end. We've built this in uh, React and the back end is uh, Node.js. Um, very simple and straightforward technologies, right? Easy to hire and maintain uh, for these technologies. Um, the platform itself, Strato, is running REST APIs, and uh, which means that if you have any other, you're using any other technology, it doesn't matter. You just use it through REST APIs. If you have legacy, <clears throat> any legacy systems, they can connect just via REST API. If you choose JavaScript, we have lots of um, uh, support libraries and convenience utilities that will help you in the development. Also, this application is open source, so you can use it as a template. Right now, um, I am, uh, th this is a track and trace supply chain application. There's a manufacturer, retailer, distributor. They all look at assets. The manufacturer um, creates an asset. Let's see, I'll create. Uh, I'm trying to get some running shoes with blinking lights. I need a thousand of those. I'm creating the asset. Oh, sorry. Press. Uh, yeah, that was an, uh, an old asset that or is already there um, that have been created before. Um, this is my new asset that I just created. It doesn't have an audit log yet. But yeah, what you see here is the audit log, right, of all the events on the chain. If the asset uh, changes, you know, goes through the life cycle on the supply chain, the status changes, and you can see all the changes in the audit log. Right here, I am, as the manufacturer, I'm requesting bids for this asset. Um, the bid has been requested. You can see this in the audit log, too. I'm 
Now I'm logging out. Yeah, exactly. Because distributors and retailers, and um, I'll go and bid on the running shoes. And one thing you can see here is I'm bidding, I'm including the regulator in my bid. Yeah, yeah, so the idea is that between me, the manufacturer, and my distributor, or anybody else who's posting bids, right, we want the transactions to be private, right? One bidder should not see another transaction, other, other bidders, right? However, the regulators should be able to see everything. Right, so I placed, I placed the bid, and um, I'll kind of, just pass through the whole thing. I can see here that um, that I have a bid for this asset. I can accept the bid, or I can wait for somebody else to put another to post another bid. And again, these are private transactions, so the bidders don't see each other. I see all the bids that went for me for my asset, and then the regular has a, a, a top level view of all the bids, right? So I'll, uh, just for the sake of time, I'll accept this bid. Yep. Um, in this case, the regular is just uh, another, another login, another participant, stakeholder that has view of all the private transactions. Um, well, so in a, in a supply chain, right, a regulator is somebody that all the stakeholders agree that is allowed to see all, all the transactions, right? So definitely if you have private transactions, the regulator should be somebody that is allowed to see all the transactions, right? You don't want one organization to see another organization transaction. Um, but usually within an, uh, um, an enterprise blockchain, right? When you array, organize your stakeholders, right? You get together and you say, we want to set up a, ch a chain. Then participants often have some transactions that they want private. There's some data that they want everybody to see. And then they also choose somebody, um, either, you know, a, a legal entity or the head of the consortium. It really depends on your um, governance model, right? You choose an entity that sees everything, right? Probably if you are, if you, if this is just a token, right? You will have visibility to everybody's um, achievements, right? If it's the, um, if it's, um, if it's the, the KYC, then the organization, right? The, the main organization um, that is establishing this, Relation will will have the visibility, and then if you're um, um, trying to disrupt the administrators, right? There's probably going to be a legal entity of some sort that will have this view, and of course the actual government, right? And the nice thing about that is that you can tell the, the regulator, basically, you guys can get your own node, and you have real time view into all the data, all the time. Right, and this is exactly what compliance and regulators want to see. And they, yeah, exactly, and it's immutable, right? So, uh, as a um, as a regulator, you all you can, and it's real time, right? You don't have to um, prepare reports, right, and wait thirty days for reports. You don't have to authenticate, certify the reports, right? Because all the data is just there in real time, and you know it's on the chain. It's immutable. Um, and you have, you know, the audit log that shows the changes in the data. Okay, so this, now I logged in as the regulator, and you can see, I see all the bids, I see all the, all the events. Um, so that was really quickly, right, uh, what's happening, the, the, um, the actual demo. Um, 